Hey there, it is Rachel, and most of us want to raise children who are more responsible and more resilient, who do the things that they have to do, and who can handle the fact that life isn't always going to go their way. But what's interesting is that if we want to raise more responsible, resilient children, we actually need to think about our tone when we're interacting with our kids, especially if you are raising a child with big emotions. Because what happens is if we don't think about our own tone, we create what I call an unnecessary second layer of yuck. So let me tell you what I mean by that. Let's say you have a child who gets really upset when they have to do something. They have to clean their room or put away their dishes. They get upset by that. You ask them to put their dishes away. You ask them to put their clothes away in their room. That creates one layer of yuck because they don't feel like doing it. So it creates frustration and annoyance. There's yuck for them. But then if we say something to them like, of course you have to put your dishes away. What do you think I'm your maid? Or we say, you haven't cleaned your room yet. What happens is that tone where they sense that we are against them or we're judging them, that creates a second layer of yuck. And if we want them to to address the first layer of yuck, the fact that they don't feel like doing what we ask, we can't create that second layer because I'll tell you this, it's much easier for them to focus on our tone and how we were so mean and we didn't care about them. It's easier for them to focus on that than the discomfort of having to do something they don't feel like doing. So we're, it's almost like we're giving them an out to focus on our tone. We want to help them focus on the initial yuck of getting through doing something they don't have to do. Now, let me give you another example. Let's say you have a child who gets really upset more, not when they have to do something, but when they make a mistake, they've done something wrong. So let's say your child forgot to bring their Chromebook or something else to school, and they say, I made a mistake, I'm so upset. Now, these children tend to be a little bit more sensitive if they feel in our tone that we don't understand them. So let's say when they forgot their Chromebook and they're upset by it, we say, oh, it's no big deal, everybody makes mistakes. Well, the reality is they believe it's a big deal. They feel like it's a big deal. And what we're doing in that moment is we're dismissing their feelings, at least from their perspective. That creates that second layer of yuck. So the first layer was that they forgot something. They feel bad about that. The second layer was that we dismissed it or we didn't understand it. And again, they can focus more on that. Oh, no one understands me. No one gets me. That's easier than focusing on the discomfort of I made a mistake. But honestly, it's that first layer that they need to focus on if we want them to be more resilient. So again, it's really about thinking about our tone. So if you have a child who doesn't like to do things, doesn't like to be told what to do, they're going to be, they're going to have that second layer of yuck if they feel like we are being judgmental or we are not on their side. A child who's more upset when they make mistakes, they're harder on themselves, they're going to be create, they're going to have that second layer of yuck when we imply in some way that we don't get what they are going through. So thinking about your tone can impact their responsible behavior, allowing them to focus on that first layer of yuck so they can become more responsible and more resilient. If you want to hear a little bit more about this, including why this doesn't mean you have to walk on eggshells when you are raising children with big emotions, I encourage you to listen to my latest podcast episode. You can find that on my website at rachel-bailey.com forward slash 237. I'll see you again soon with more tips. Take care.